game series. Right now, though, Arash Madani with Matt Chapman. Well, Matt, it was a day yesterday. There was a, <laughs> there was a lot going on. You were the center of attention. They had a video tribute for you. Um, a lot was happening. What was yesterday like? Yesterday uh, was a long day that happened in a blink of an eye. Uh, you know, it was uh, coming into the stadium that you used to call your home, um, being on the visiting side, coming into this dugout. Uh, just a lot of emotions, um, looking back on a lot of good memories, answering uh, lots of questions. But, uh, you know, today I feel like it was a lot more normal. Just, hey, come to the ballpark. I'm preparing to win a baseball game. Understandably so. Um, you also left with a souvenir yesterday. Like a lot of people think about the Oakland Coliseum, and they think about how crazy Raider fans are, but like A's fans are their own special breed too. Did, did you get a skateboard? Is that what we saw yesterday? I sure did, I sure did. I got a skateboard um, from a, a, a loyal A's fan named Chewy and he uh, had this skateboard made for me and I randomly ran into him in a coffee shop in Berkeley and he told me he'd been wanting to give me this gift and he was actually going to the game to give me the gift today and I told him hey, I'll, I'll get you a BP pass and you can uh, make your way out to the field and he came to the field brought me the skateboard so that was really cool. It's interesting when you look at this offense when this team has a lead it feels like it's a completely different lineup altogether than when falling behind of late you guys have trailed early in games and Springer was making the point you almost just human nature you start to press you get out of your approach a little bit. What is the biggest challenge when you're when you're coming from behind and, and all those things kind of start happening. Right. And I think I think that's one of the big things is um, sometimes we have jumped out and been behind or the other team has jumped out to a lead. Right. And, um, you know, we have so much talent in this lineup, but we are still very young. And, you know, I still feel young, you know, and I'm the second oldest guy on the position players wise. You know, it's like George and me and then the rest of the guys are very young. And I think what comes with that is like George said, maybe when you do, we fall behind three or four runs, um, guys take it upon themselves to, because we have so many talented guys on this team, like we have multi-dimensional offense, you know, we have guys that can hit for power, but can also handle the bat, can move a guy over, can work a walk. So I think as we get through the season and maybe, you know, we even talk about it as a team, hey, look, when we fall behind, let's see how many hits we can get in a row. We have to just continue to figure out how many different ways we can win a baseball game. Great answer, by the way. Not how you start, how you finish. Second half of the season is now here. What is it going to take for this team to really make a run and have a strong finish? Definitely. I think what it's really going to take is us just, you know, trying to, as much as we can, eliminate your own personal success and failure, you know, because if we can try and base our success off of winning baseball games and try and have more of a team focus instead of worrying about yourself, not saying that our team does that. And I feel like hitting is really contagious, especially in our lineup. Got a lot of right-handed bats, a lot of guys that can follow each other's lead. So with that and a focus on just, hey, do what you can for the team, leave it at that, go home, get prepared and prepare to win every day. I think we're going to be in a good spot. Appreciate the time. Appreciate the insight. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. And uh, let's see if you leave here with a W today. Absolutely. We're going to leave here with a W and then one tomorrow. Go Jays.